All right. Uh, so how's everybody doing? Um, using faster encoder setting. Oops. Well, I don't like those. Um, anyway, so I was going to pull a little more on that vector uh, banner we saw last time um, that I made that video. Maybe try to get two more merges out of it and see how that went. But fortunately, I decided to just like do some research, uh, a little bit of research anyway. Just kind of seeing what might come next, and a lot of people were saying this uh, double focus, double special banner, whatever, was going to come back, and Pirate Tibarn was going to be on there. And for those of you who have been here long enough, you'd know, <laughs> um, uh, constantly complaining about how my dual pala isn't completed because I don't have a Pirate Tibarn because I don't have the um, Dive Bomb Heavy Blade 4 combo, which, there you go, here it is, finally. Um, this is pretty good. In terms of general value, I guess I can kind of talk about this banner, review it a little bit. Um, even though everybody's already kind of gone over it for those of you who watch like Phoenix Master 1 or, or Tacho. Uh, there's not a whole lot of units I'd probably like. I mean, merging all, any of these units don't seem like two interesting prospects to me. So I'm not sure if, you, if anybody's going to like dump a bunch of orbs to, to get any of these to plus 10 or anything other than uh, Ninja Lin, considering... Uh, not only did we get her out of a free one, she was also on that banner, and a lot of people were either pulling for a bunch of copies of her or Corrin anyway. Um, so this is just another opportunity to start completing those builds. Which, If I had wanted a plus 10 Ninja Lin, this would have been a pretty a great blessing considering it's like, oh, I, you know, given the rates, uh, I'm not sure I probably would have you know, plus 10 her on that um, Hero Rises banner, but, you know, Maybe just one or two copies extra and you can get them from here, so that's pretty cool. Um, knowing my luck, I'm probably going to get a bunch of her and like not enough to barn, which is going to be pretty annoying, but that's what it is. Uh, in terms of fodder, obviously she's got pulse smoke and steady impact. You can take them both at the same time, or um, you can try to get this weapon, which is all right, uh, but I don't know. It's pretty good for like advantage bow user now one of the things that makes spencer bow so powerful on vantage bow users is the ability to reduce uh, to increase your attack by seven but reducing their attack by seven is oftentimes not that useful uh just because you want to vantage sweet people right with the close counter so being able to Reduce the incoming damage is kind of like moot point when you shouldn't be taking any incoming damage. Now you should take some because you got to get into the vantage range and and so on and so forth. Um, and it's not like you can just vantage everyone, right? Which is kind of one of the problems. Uh, so this bow kind of comes in a little handy. Um, but if you can kind of want to think about it a certain way, it's like this bow reduces their defense by five, uh, where the spendthrift bow increases your attack by five. So either way, it's Increasing your attack or your decreasing their, their defense is, for the most part, very similar. So you're losing two points here, which you kind of don't want. So uh, on the on the flip side, you get to use your special with Helm Bow and a lot of other bows, which is why I kind of went with Plegian, the Plegian Bow, uh, for the ability to use for one the ability to use the special as well as um, I just kind of figured it'd be very similar in in, in that way anyway. So that's kind of what I went with. Uh I remember some people were pulling for a plus 10 Z-Hark. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of fodder, so that's really kind of all you'd want to pull him for. So Rez kind of, it's kind of lame. Like you, you either, you know, you get her and that's pretty good, but you, you could get pity broken by Z-Hark. And the only good thing about Z-Hark is if you want a plus 10 of Z-Hark, but I don't know. I don't imagine anyone on this channel necessarily wants to do that. Considering you're trying to pull for maximum uh, value of your orbs. Um... Her again, Harmonized Hero, the the new game mode. It's just kind of whatever. Who cares? Like, just 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 play it every week and don't worry too much about it. Um, but she didn't have, actually have a lot of fodder. She just has a attack speed push four, which is kind of sad. So, uh, blue's kind of weird. Uh, attack defense bond. I feel like the bond skills are kind of basically just kind of made moot by unity skills. Um, sure, you're losing two off the initial uh, because. Uh, unity skills only give you plus five, but the unique skills can give you can end up giving you a plus twelve. Um, where all you, where all you, this does is just kind of um, negate it. Um, 
She has pretty good fodder. Justin Ward's kind of weird on her, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, so that seems all right to me. Uh, and then, you know, she's kind of, again, lacking in fodder, I think, a little bit. Not a whole lot. Now, defense cantrip's pretty good, right? Because it's the one that... Um, yeah, four spaces, everybody minus seven, right? But it's probably not as going to be as worthwhile as... Um, like a sabotage defense is anyway, so yeah, you know, is what it is. And then obviously we got you know Ninja Lin. We've kind of talked about her already, and um, you know a decent choice to plus ten, uh, especially given how many opportunities we've gotten to to do so. So uh, yeah, and then you know last but not least, uh, Tabarn, uh, whose only purpose here is to hang on to Heavy Blade Four and Dive Bomb at the same time. Um, I I don't know. I might pull for more than one just because Dive Bomb. It's such a good skill, but I don't really don't know if I'll foresee needing more than one. So, so you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Depending on how long it takes for us to get the first one and how many ninja lins we get along the way. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's just kind of get in here and start summoning. Um, that was hilarious because as soon as I got in here, I immediately forgot what color I was pulling on. <laughs> I was like, wait, what am I doing? Um, so, given... The fact that they were right about this one, um, w one of the next banners I think coming up that that's of interest to me is probably going to be the return of the, oh man, uh, who was worth, blue was kind of crap, red was also kind of crap, but I think I'll take red because I need pull smoke. Wow, I called it. So there we go. Uh, pull smoke's fodder and a helm bow or a helm bow you can't take both at the same time you have to take one two uh and then this takes three so you gotta kind of choose now it's not that big a deal i mean steady impact I i'm not really the biggest fan of these impact skills especially ones that don't give you more damage so this one gives you speed and defense it's like it is what it is um but my main point being I don't really have anyone, I, like, there's no more bow users I need, and I already have enough bows. I have, like, the Plegian bow, I have the, um, the Spendthrift bow, and it's, like, at this point, it's kind of almost overkill, so, I don't know, I mean, might be useful somewhere, someone might need it, but I think the Pulse Smoke is more valuable in this situation. The fact that it's a lull effect, where it's, like, they can get buffed, is also very interesting, um, but there's not a whole lot of buffs in Aether Raids anyway, which is the main, um, the main place I use uh, CC Vantage bow users. Um, so that's kind of, that's something to consider is like, there's not a whole lot of buffs. And if they have buffs, I'm running a panic, which means it turns to debuffs and it doesn't really matter, right? So that's kind of something to consider as well. Uh, but yeah, so looking all right so far. Um, got a five star within like the first few bit of orbs there. Uh, still kind of salty. I didn't get any colorless orbs back there. And I don't have any copies of this Natasha person. It's weird. I don't, I don't know what that's about. Uh, stop. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm going to get a bunch of ninja limbs, and I'm not going to get, like, one to barn. And I don't have this guy either. <laughs> it's a lot of, um... I haven't pulled on colorless in, like, forever. Other than, like, that one video... Uh, the the hero rises banner from last time. Oop, it's not first back. Um, hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. Hey Tethys, I would have loved Tethys a while ago, but I forgot got a plus ten th uh, plus ten Tethys. Um, stop. There we go. I think we're still at six percent. Ugh. I'm gonna get up. Ninja Z Hark, watch. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, let's see. Stop. Uh, appearance rates are six percent still. Okay. <laughs> uh, of course. I haven't summoned in a long time. Um, for a particular unit where it's like, a lot of times I'll summon and it's like you know the old, the hero rises banner or it's um sparkable banners. So I was almost forgetting there for a second how miserable summoning was, but as you can see here, um, this is not a very fun process when you need something. Hey, 
that's a plus one Lucina at least. Uh, when I got that Lucina, it, when I got that Lucina, the the resplendent one, I was like, oh, maybe I can build her up and whatnot. And then I went to go look through my barracks and I realized I didn't have any Lucinas whatsoever. <laughs> uh, but fortunately, I didn't break our pity and we got a five star, which is pretty cool. Uh, for those of you who've never fought, um, like a plus ten. Lucina with the new sealed falchion refine. She's actually pretty scary. Like I'll see her in arena sometimes or just like in random places and she's just a nightmare to get through. Um so that's kinda interesting. Uh we'll stop. Um so if I was pulling on red, I'd be ecstatic about all this stuff, but um fortunately. I've already got the only thing I wanted from red, uh being stop being uh what's her name i don't even know what their names bridget there we go see ah, i i said it before i got to look at it so i'm on point there um okay so our 6.5 we're five percent or half a half a percent not even a uh five percent half a percent increase in chances to get a five star um i think like i said yeah so i don't know like i said I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I kind of, at this point, I'm now realizing how bad the summoning system is in a lot of ways when it's like you're, you're pulling on something you, you like, you know, you don't really care too much about. Like the Vector one was good. Mm, there we go. There's the Lin. Ah, I see. I had called it. <laughs> I'm going to get a plus 10 one before I get it to Baron launch. Um, uh, plus attack, which is what you need. Uh, you kind of want speed too, but uh, she gets a lot of speed anyway. Um, and when you get an attack boon, it's a plus three to attack. And since you're hitting like four times, that turns out to be, um, right. 12 extra damage that you're doing. Uh, now granted the, the, the extra speed kind of helps secure those four attacks. Um, so it just depends on how you look at it. I mean, or how you value it. Uh, I'm just going to pull on this. Hopefully I get it to barn here somewhere. We can just get out of here. So right now I'm at a plus two ninja lin. Um, yeah, so I'm at a plus two ninja lin. Uh, from from those of you who saw that, I'm just gonna pull these two blue ones just because I already pulled uh, my pity's gone already anyway, and may as well stack up for the next one. Ooh, Iliana. I actually wanted to make a plus ten Iliana, but I already have a plus ten Brenya, so it's like not really worth it. Not to mention, if I was gonna make her, I need um, the Flora's guide or whatever. I think it, that's what's called. Um, so these four are going to the next pity, right? So that's that's why I went. Just let's do all the all four of them. Four of them. Um, as you can see there, my orb count is rather low. So I'm gonna summon one time. I have six percent right now. I'm gonna summon this one time, and then we leave, and then we come back, and it's six point. It'll be six point five. Um, I don't. I don't mean to like repeat like simple stuff like that, but you know, it's always someone's first video at some point. So. <laughs> You can kind of see it here, just just kind of explaining a little bit, but yeah. Um, for those of you who saw um, Acris's video when he pulled on the uh, Hero Rises banner, uh, you can see there. Now I feel like I I would have pulled. I think I might have like gone a lot further into that Hero Rises banner if there was multiple pities. I forgot like you know, I don't know about four pities right, but you know if there was multiple, maybe just just go a few more and see where I get with Ninja Lin. Um, because apparently you only need a plus eight ninja lin, which I mean only. That's still like nine uh, linges, right? Um, but uh, here goes. Um, want red? But uh, please don't pity break me. You know who I want from the red pool? Um, from the four star special pool, Brave Celica. She's awesome. Like that's probably my one of my favorite versions of Celica. That and the the. Um, legendary uh green mage one is pretty cool anyway back to what i was saying um if you saw the accurate video he had in the top that to, to have an arena usable ninja lin you basically needed a plus eight or more um and while again that's that's nine copies i'm, I'm already at three copies um not the closest but certainly more than i'd like to be <laughs> um and like upon further and like thinking about it uh, upon thinking about it further, ooh, thank you. Who's this? Lean, Lene. Uh, let's see what she does. She have anything? I, I think I've already pulled a copy of her before. 
Um, I, I just love these four star like special rate banners. They're just like they're so much fun. Like it's I mean it's an older unit, so it's not gonna be like oh man, I suddenly have like this crazy fodder or I have this crazy unit or whatever. No, they're just like older units and, and it's always fun to get five stars even if they are older. Um, just putting a lot of that older stuff in the hands of players is, is usually better. Uh, of course. Um, but yeah, Brave Celica. That's what I want from 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 Red. Um, yeah, so I mean, upon further like thinking about it, like a plus 10 Linja. Oh my gosh, dude. A, pl a plus 10 Linja would certainly make um, Arena a little easier. Um, just because, I mean, basically when you're playing, if you have her on Arena, not only are you scoring 190, so you, you know, you got a pretty good uh, scoring increase there. Uh, stop, yeah. Not only do you have a pretty good score increase there uh, overall, but on top of that, you also... Um, are basically playing a four versus three game because uh, Linja is going to go in there, snipe one unit, um, dance herself, and then kill another unit. And then you're basically, again, like I said, that's 4v2. Did I say 4v3? I feel like I said 4v3. But anyway, 4v2 at that point. Uh, and then you just kind of like reposition her, dance her away, and then, you know, whatever she might have had trouble killing or, or, or even not, um, you can just follow up with them later anyway. So, yeah, I mean... If I get a if I get an RTA usable uh, an RTA an arena usable um, Linja, it won't be so bad. Um, I mean, it's already kind of fun. Like as it is, it's, it's pretty fun using um, Duo Byleth uh, for that very reason because I run her with a uh, wind sweep, and people just can't counterattack you. They just die. Um, even you know, you even take out like I've used her to, to take out legendary Croms and 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 whatnot just because uh, he's not fast enough to counter her. Oof, this is getting bad. Um, but he's just not fa fast enough to um, to count to to match her speed. Obviously, I mean, not that he's very fast at all. He just has like built-in follow-ups. Um, but their inability to counterattack just makes it like so much easier. Um, let's see. The only one of the major problems I'm having now is, you know, theoretically she can kind of do pretty good against dragons. <laughs> Uh, my summer Byleth, um, because she has the uh, what's that? Oh, Some again. Because she has the uh, ruptured sky, which gives you double um, the scaling on it against dragons. Because normally it's twenty percent of their attack stat, uh, but against dragons it's forty percent. So it's not double damage per se. It's double the scaling the damage is based on, which may end up being double damage. Right? I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't want to say like. 100% you're doing double damage to dragons, but um, I mean, mathematically, it probably works out that way. Um, I'm probably gonna get pity broken on one of these, so. Uh, I like the green unit. I mean, I could pull on red again, but I don't want Z Hark, and I already got one of the Bridgids. I already got Bridgid, so. In terms of red units, there's nothing there, nothing more there for me. Blues had that weird horse dancer guy. Yeah, so it's just going to be green. Um, I don't know, hopefully it's not this one. Yes, okay. It's a flyer, but it's not the not the pity-breaking flyer. Uh, who's the other green? I already forgot immediately. Uh, it's her. Yeah, I really don't want her <laughs> either. I just want like if I were to, if you know if I were to, if I were to get any green pretty broken it probably I mean hopefully it'd be her but you know it is what it is. Um. Uh, this is see this is what I'm talking about like just a miserable experience. I'm already like almost 200 orbs in and stop. Yeah, almost 200 orbs in. And like I said, I mean I've gotten one Linja and I've gotten the other one. So in terms of like luck or five stars you can't really complain too much um because you could probably go this far without getting anything at all um but in terms of like what you want it's like damn these rates are uh horrendous so it's looking like and i was kind of thinking like i had mentioned at the beginning of the video it was like i was kind of thinking um maybe i can get another tibarn but after if I get Tibarn, 
I'm just gonna like that's gonna be it. Like I'm just I'm just gonna duck out because this is already costing me way more than it feel like it should have. But that's again, it's not necessarily because this is necessarily worse than than other banners or something like that. It's just that um, I've I've already been used to like I've already conditioned myself to like better banners, right? So like I said, I've conditioned myself to things like um, <laughs> uh, sparkable banners and and you know like. Banners where you just can't lose, right? So like the the Byleth banner, no matter what, uh, no matter what, uh, five star or oh, there we go, it's another one. So, <laughs> oof, please be to barn on the other side. Come on, that's how you get a, a high merge ninja. You just kind of like you got to constantly complain at the game to not give it to you, and then it'll just give it to you. Um, my pity was reset here, and we're at eight point five, so I'm just gonna summon the whole thing and and get stack four for the next one. Come on, ninja, whatever. Is it Levitine? No, it's not Levitine. I forgot what her name was. The potent force, Odin. Let's we'll see who's in the red. I get the feeling it's a Z Hark. I called it. Hey, he's a four star, good. It didn't reset my reset pity, so I'm at four summons. Um, yeah. Oh, there, there's that. I'll be right back. All right. Um. So as I was turning people into papers, I completely had forgotten that I had gotten um one of those uh, fallen Ikes. So what are we at? We're at um. I'm currently at a plus three ninja lin. Um. So how much is that to get a plus eight? Uh, five more to go. <laughs> so let's see if we can get them all in this banner. So at 6.5, look at Saizo. Oh, I really didn't want to like spend all my orbs on this banner, but it is what it is. And I was kind of like partially, oh wow, two sizes. I was kind of partially looking forward to, um, uh, I think I had mentioned, and I probably lost my train of thought on the way there, but um, well, three ninjas. Uh, but regarding uh, upcoming stuff, so one of the things that, that theoretically is coming up is um, the start of it all banner is supposedly supposed to be coming back. Um, wow, thank you very much. Yeah. So it seems we've been getting jobbed on this banner pretty hard. Uh, basically just pity breakers everywhere and not even the pity breakers we want. At least... Uh, well, outside of the, the red pity breaker, right? So we got we did get the Bridget and not the Z Hark, which is good. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> that's a plus four. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to this anymore. Um, oh, actually, so this one's plus attack. The the Linja I got right before this one. Before I I had well, I mean for me it was a little while because I had to go to the barracks and whatnot. Uh, but that one was a plus speed. Uh, so I basically have whatever option I want. I can either take a plus speed or plus attack, and and I guess I'll see. But we are at a plus four Linja, and I haven't merged them because um, I don't know. It's like like I said, I, I didn't really care much for a uh, plus ten whatever Linja, but like she also doesn't have that much good fodder. Like I, I'm not really a big fan of like these uh, Swiss Barrel three, you know, these these level three kind of like attack initiate skills on most units and there's not really anybody who needs it right now so there's really no reason to fodder her off and the speed defense rain while well, it's all right there's no one again there's no one i have right now that currently needs this particular um combination so like maybe a uh, young pala might need the attack defense rain to lower their attack so she gets over their attack with her um with her weapon uh so she can trigger the heavy blade um and then the defense wants to do more damage, so attack defense is probably what I want on her because speed. She's really not going to outspeed any anyone ever, so it's not really worth investing into her speed. Um, and yeah, there's just 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 bottom line is there's not a whole lot of like units I I I have that need this, so I might just end up merging her up and and seeing <laughs> what I can do with her. Ugh. Okay, so let's uh we'll stop here again. So it's looking like I'm gonna burn all my orbs. Um, chasing uh, pirate to barn here, which 
like I said, I had wanted to save some because it was coming up with the start of it all banner, and I was thinking, oh, well, uh, I could summon on that. I could try to summon on that, right? Maybe get a few more uh, Young Pal emerges, and then uh, theoretically, stop. And theoretically, um, you know, maybe somewhere along the line, get more merges for my uh, Young Sheeta. Because uh, she's at a plus six right now, I think. So that's that. And stop. Oh, cool. Three. It's going to give me. Oh, uh, that would have been really funny if it's just like these last three are all to barns. It's like, oh, here. I was like, well, <laughs> I didn't need three to barns, but I guess I'll take them. And no, okay. So it, it is what it is. Let's go back. Let's see. But yeah, so I mean, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna get, I'm probably not gonna get those young pal emerges. I, I need to be saving. Um, and while merges on young pala are, you definitely kind of want them because even sometimes like, like when you're fighting against a plus ten vector, he he has he packs a surprising amount of speed compared to Young Pala. Hey, it's a four star and it's gonna turn into a five star. I don't know who this is. Uh, I still don't know who this is. Was that Ainz? The Eye of Inus. Um, for those of you who play Gothic, Nidhog. I think this has a good refine. I don't remember though. You have any fodder, bro? Nah, <laughs> it doesn't have anything. Um, so yeah, back and stop. Okay, which are my rates? Six point five. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually pretty irritated <laughs> right now <laughs> because I don't. I've already spent so many orbs to get nothing. Like it, it's like it's also like not only is it irritating. Uh, because just at a basic level, it's irritating. But it's also irritating on the level of like, you can't complain. I can't complain too much because I'm also getting a lot of stuff, a decent amount of stuff. Um, <laughs> but it's nothing I even am close to wanting. Um, but yeah, it's like not only are you complaining, I'm also complaining about my inability to complain because I'm actually technically getting quite a bit here. <laughs> Hey, it's Lakesis. Hey, that's that's where I remember that name from. So Lakesis, this is that green unit that Pity broke me a while ago, right? That's her name too. So that's the same unit, right? She just looks so different. She looks so, I guess, mature and regal there. Um, I think we're at seven percent now. Yeah, we're at seven. Uh, if you're wondering why I don't click through all of them 100%, it's because um, I'll get distracted on my phone or something. Um, it was kind of funny that I didn't do that last time. Uh, that one time I didn't do it, and it was like, oh my gosh, dude. Come on, don't break me. There we go. It's Botre. <laughs> I wonder if that guy's name is like Barter, and we've all been saying it wrong. and It's just a joke that he's like a traitor or something. Not a traitor, like a trader, like Trader Joe's, or like a spice trader. Man, I would have loved all these Norns back then when I didn't have a plus 10 Norn, but... Like back then, I could not pull a Norn to save my life. But now here we are. Come on, Tabarn. <sighs> He kind of looks like him a little bit. He's got like the cape and... Well, the cape instead of like big old wings. Not that I saw the silhouette and was like, Oh, it's Tabarn or anything like that. Just <laughs> There she is. Uh, what's that? Plus five now? <sighs> you see what I mean? It's like, I can't even complain. It's like... <laughs> It's gonna be another one right here. Watch. Let's let's find out. 
Oh no. Ugh, this is really weird. I had the same luck with the um <clears throat> Hero Rises banner too. Like I really wanted a Cor I really wanted Corin and I pulled a Corin. No, I pulled a, a a Linja instead of the Corin on the way to pity and then I just had to pity the Corin. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a plus six. Two more, and I guess um, she's making it on the arena team. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe what's happening right now. How did I manage to pull like four linges before I got one to barn? This isn't even... Like, I just don't understand. And then there's like, I see the other thing that bothers me too is the fact that like, not only is it just hard to pull on, on colorless in general, the game constantly, like out of all the colors, I feel like colorless is the main one where it'll, it'll just refuse to flat out give you colorless. Colorless and green, I, I see a lot of people having trouble with green, but I've never like pulled on a banner for a green unit, so I wouldn't know what that's like. But every other color I've pulled for, blues, reds, and colorless I've pulled a lot for. Um, and the game just like refuses to give me lots of colorless in a batch. Like we've only been getting one at a time. The most we've gotten is three, but for the, you know, if you're watching, I guess if you're still watching this uh, tragedy, um, <laughs> this well. Basically failing upwards, I guess you could say, because it's not what I want, but I'm still like being rewarded. Um, but for those of you been watching this, I mean, we got like a whole ring of just reds, and then the one before that was four reds and one not red. Um, and yet here we are. See, like the most we've ever gotten in colorless is uh, three, and there's gonna be a linja in one of these. Watch, come on, where are you? I know you're in here. Don't lie to me. Felicia's also another one I would have loved to have pulled back then, just because it took me forever to get the to get her uh, to plus ten. Um, and that's basically kind of why I started the channel. Was like as soon as I got my my um, Felicia plus ten, and I started doing you know <clears throat> decent in in Aether raids. I was like, oh, let's kind of let's show people that uh, you don't need to be. I mean, look at this: all four blues in one colorless, and like I have not gotten that with the colorless at all. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why um, it does that. I wonder if, if they put some sort of mechanic in there where it's like tracking what color you're pulling for most and just kind of tries to push you off of it. <laughs> but it's really irritating. Red is usually the easiest to focus on 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 these things just because like the game constantly wants to just throw red stones at you. Uh, but I haven't summoned for red since like way back then before like like a long time ago probably before i even started making it into tier 21 like making it over tier 21 in in aether raids that's dumb because uh, back then like i used to well for one <clears throat> i really was like i pulled on a lot of red because i wanted the legendary roy so like whenever the legendary banner came about i would pull on that <clears throat> and i wouldn't like yeah so I know from experience, like, the red is the easiest to pull on, even though it doesn't always give you, like, there'll always be red orbs, like, all the time. <laughs> as soon as I say that, there's no red orbs. Uh, but usually there's, like, no shortage of red orbs, but it's just, like, not a whole lot worth summoning in red. So, uh, wow, you can get her as a four star? I didn't know that. So, well, I'm happy I got her as a four star instead of a five star. I didn't want to break the pity there. That's pretty cool. I didn't know she was a four star. I thought she was only five star. That's very interesting. That sounds that seems pretty fun. Um, she sounds like a if if you can plus ten her easily as a four star, which you probably still can't, right? Mind you, um, she sounds like a pretty interesting uh, proposition for like replacing um, what's her name, uh, Tethys. Not that Tethys needs replacing, but uh, basically having the same unit. But Flyer is usually going to be better because Tethys isn't going to survive getting hit anyway. <clears throat> Much like um, 
a flyer would. She has more weaknesses, right? She's got a bow weakness as a flyer. But <clears throat> I'm going to go see how many. I actually I, I lost count already how many, what where I'm at in terms of my Linja. I think that I have a what, plus six Linja, I think. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> the only way this this banner could justify, oh, well, I'll be right back. Uh, okay, I was trying to make that much room to begin with, uh, so that's why I have to keep going in and, and doing this because I didn't expect to be here this long. Uh, but anyway, the point that I was trying to make before I left was um, <laughs> the only way that at this point this banner can be like couldn't have been worth all the the orbs I put into it would be if like I pulled. A circle with like all colorless that was like two to barns in there and three more linjas <laughs> somehow and there we go we were out of there um, but it's looking like it's not gonna happen I guess only time will tell um, how worthwhile this was in terms of like like in terms of like, maybe I should just shut up and be grateful for for all these linjas because maybe they will make maybe I'll you know they off of her I'll, I'll will be able to make like tier twenty one um, arena right and it'll be easy and because of her you know it's like maybe she'll end up paying for her well not necessarily paying for herself because it's only like one extra orb every week which I guess over the course of a month is what four over the course of like ten months is forty. Um, let's see. Um, that doesn't also, like, that doesn't account for, like, the peace of mind of just being able to, like, hey, I'm gonna go to Arena today, and I'm just gonna linja, like, literally everyone, and they're not gonna be able to do anything to stop me. Um, I we will stop here. So, like I said, right now, kind of annoyed because I'm not getting what I want, but maybe, maybe in time, um, I'll begin to see the truth of it that um i needed <laughs> the blessed end linja which i guess the problem with that too is i'm gonna not only that i'm gonna have to invest more into her because um eventually i'll probably just want to plus 10 her anyway <laughs> uh, oof, uh let's take this one please don't be don't pretty break me Oof, don't, don't, don't do it. No, good. What up, Bowie? Bowie's pretty chill. Um, I like his weapon refine. All we need, like, Bowie is suffering from not, from IS not giving us, I don't know why they haven't given it to us either. Um, It's Mercedes. I need a plus 10 Mercedes, but I don't really know how to build a, a healer worth a damn, so he's just kind of sitting there. Uh, what was my main point here was... Um, I forgot what I was talking about there. In any case... Uh, Bowie, yeah, he has he has close foil on his weapon. Uh, and for some reason, the IS doesn't want to give us close... Um, what? What is it? Our close ward... Yeah, close word. There we go. Because uh, they gave us distant ward and distant foil, but they don't want to give us close ward for some reason, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, it, it, it's like it's one of the things that makes. I think it's like a Sophia. I'm not sure what unit that is that has that, but there's a unit that has this. Finally, thank goodness, we're out of here. Uh, I don't care what your stats are, buddy. I just came here to like take your stuff. <laughs> I would have gotten the minus attack. <laughs> so even if I did want to barn. Uh, so now we got him. Uh, we can just like, well, actually, I'm just going to summon this whole circle because with this 9%, I'm not going to leave that on the table. Uh, Morgan. Actually, he, I hear he had a good refine. I looked at it and it looks all right. I can't tell you exactly what the refine is because I don't. I didn't memorize that wall of text that they're all getting now. Everybody's weapon refined and like their unique skills or whatever are all just like, we're at the point where everybody's just Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's just like big old wall of text. 
where one card has to do everything for an archetype. <laughs> or nowadays, wow, I didn't get anything. 9% and all I got was a Tibarn and I got baited into summoning everything else. Uh, that's fine. Uh, there we go. So we're not coming back here. We're, we're out. Uh, mainly what I want to do now is manage barracks. Actually, that's not what I want to do. Um, merge allies. Let's go here. I always sort by rarity. Um, let's go take a look at exactly how many linges I got out of that. Look, there's there she is. The the time is almost upon us. I have a plus one uh, Cecilia. I'm gonna work on getting her to plus ten at some point. Uh, where are you? Are you down here somewhere? There we go. Wow, look at that. So base <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, and six. So plus six ninja lin. Um, and that's pretty ridiculous. And I guess, you know, I guess there's really no point in not. The main thing I'm concerned about, though, is, like, I would, some, I would, I would, you know, merge her up right in front of you guys right here. I guess I'll merge a few of these. So let's put her with, uh, another neutral IV one. Well, see, that's my thing, right? Is, that's the reason I don't want to merge her necessarily right now. Let's merge this one. Because we're, we're never going to run eight plus HP, right? <laughs> Famous less words. Um, I'm worried about merging her because, I, like, like I said, I have a speed, a plus speed, and a plus attack, and I'm still not entirely convinced of one way or the other, right? Because, like I said, when you tr when you quad, the plus attack will mean you're getting about um, twelve more damage out of her. Let's see. Uh, enhance, yeah. right but you know we might need the plus speed so that we can get guarantee those quads because it's not always of course it's not always uh guaranteed right sometimes you end up just doubling somebody because you didn't have it um but yeah so i'm kind of like worried about which one to go for whether the attack the plus attack or the plus speed um We'll merge. We'll merge this uh, plus defense one. Um, but yeah. So, in terms of, in terms of what Boone or Bane or whatever, um, I'm still not entirely sure. I'll probably look up some, some, some videos or something, or just someone talking about it, or maybe I'll just. Um, do what I usually do and 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 take whatever um, take whatever Acarus ends up going with because um, I mean it's usually the best usually the best way to go about things is, is <laughs> the way he does it so um, yeah maybe I can fuse off one of these attack ones but we'll see so yeah plus two eventually plus three so it'll be pretty funny to, to think it's pretty funny to think about arena for me now because basically i'll be running a plus 10 byleth and at, presumably at some point a plus 10 lin um <laughs> so basically lin takes out two enemies byleth takes out one and we're down to a 4v1 at that point <laughs> right uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, like I said, I guess, you know, they do score quite highly. So I guess it's not wasted orbs, but I'm still not happy about it considering um, that was almost way too many orbs. Um, but yeah, so hopefully for those of you out there uh, who summoned on this, uh, you got decent luck. Uh, at least good as good as mine, right? Like, like I said, my luck could have been better, but it also could have been a lot worse. I, I did end up with like a highly merged uh, Lin after this, and I think I think most people that aren't me would have been grateful for that right off the bat. Like a lot of people are probably just insanely happy to be able to like summon on something, um, and have these two units together, right? Like if you wanted like if you wanted Lin, um, you're probably happy that it's like oh okay, well on the way there I could probably get a few um, 
heavy blade fours and a uh, dive bomb. Um, but if I had, um, if you know, like if you're like me and you wanted him, like as much as I want to complain about not getting uh, what I want as early as I wanted and, and being able to save orbs for the cost of orbs I went into this, I actually turned out pretty well because. I, the one unit I needed only one copy of, I got one copy of, and the one that I like didn't need duplicates of was still something worth getting duplicates on, right? Because Tibarn, I mean, no one's going to want duplicates on Tibarn unless... I mean, I guess you could. I mean, a lot of people do like his um, his Gale Force kind of play style where you just like three movement flyer and you just hit someone and then run away. Uh, and you do massive damage because you're Tibarn. Um, he also, he's also got this suspensive bow thing in his weapon, which is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, basically you, what, you quad some, no. No, you just hit someone twice. Yeah, he doesn't quad. But anyway, so that, that's that. Um, like I said, it turned out, you know, for, for the orbs we put in here, it turned out, uh, better than I probably should have, but, you know, it is what it is. So, good luck for those of you out there. Um, keep in mind that the, uh the uh what's it called like the start of it all banner the tsa banner is probably coming back at some point um like i said that would have been pretty decent for for this account because uh it would have been nice to have a you know more merges on uh young Sheeta because she's a plus six um so more merges on her would have been nice as well as more merges on on her would have been pretty nice too um but where we are we're pretty solid so i guess i'll just go inherit i mean we'll do that let's see uh inherit skill well actually i can't do it right now even i have to go and uh hm farm using to barn first and then from there we'll uh we'll do that but uh hopefully i guess uh good luck out you out there to you guys hopefully you get uh what you want and if you don't get what you want hopefully you get something beneficial out of it in the long run which like i said while the Ninja Land isn't what I came for, um, certainly probably, you know, worth the orbs I spent anyway, right? So, uh, yeah, that'll be it for today.